We know that when families get SNAP and things like the child tax credit that the poverty rates go down. Terry so Shoemaker is with the Arizona Food Bank Network. It's a coalition of five regional food banks and almost 1,000 food pantries across the state. She says SNAP is crucial for the nearly 1 million Arizonans using it. Congress now has three days left to pass a spending bill before a full government shutdown, but Shoemaker says SNAP users are safe through October. If the shutdown extends longer than that, there are going to be a lot of families who already deal with uncertainty being even more uncertain. She says more families could turn to food banks for help during a shutdown. St. Mary's Food Bank says they have already seen that massive demand due to inflation. Last year, they helped 150,000 families in just one month. People are just confused about mixed messages that are out there. So they're just asking, you know, what is happening? Meanwhile, the Department of Health Services put out this message to Arizona families regarding their WIC program. It says families can continue to rely on those services even during a possible shutdown. WIC is a supplemental nutrition program for women, infants, and children, federally funded through the USDA, serving more than 140,000 Arizonans a month. And it supports women who are pregnant, breastfeeding, and postpartum, infants and children up to the age of five. WIC director Marlene Hernandez says families should not worry. Our calculations are showing that we're good until the end of the calendar year. Please go use your benefits, continue to have your appointments. Now, Shoemaker says that the good news here is that food banks get some of their supplies from the USDA. And if there were to be a government shutdown, that food program would not be affected. Live in Phoenix tonight, I'm Holly Bach for Arizona's Family. One of